We're now going to talk about logistic problems. And logistic problems are problems that the population is controlled by some outside source. There's something out there that stops the population from just growing as much as it wants. That could be predators, it could be a lack of food, it could be a lack of space. But whatever it is, there's a hard cap on the population. The population can't go above it. And it turns out that there's a model that's still exponential that allows us to find if we know that cap, how fast things are going to grow. And that's the logistics model. That's what we're going to talk about now. And so here, suppose that the carrying capacity M, that's the maximum of the human population on Earth, is 35 billion. In 1987, so this is a key year, the world population was about 5 billion. We'll use the logistic growth model of P.F. Verholz to calculate the average rate K of the population given that there was 6 billion people in 2003. So we need to identify what we know. We're going to let T be measured from 1987. We also know that from the logistic growth model that our population at that time, P of 0, is 5 billion. We know that M is 35. And we also know that P of 2003 is 16 years. P of 16 is 6. So we're going to need this and this in order to help us find our missing variables. Notice we still don't have our A. That's not our initial population. Or our K. So we'll start with the P0, because that's easiest. If we can raise something to the 0 power, it causes it to go away. So P of 0 is equal to M over 1 plus e A times E to the minus K times 0, which makes this whole thing go to 1. So P of 0 is equal to 35 over 1 plus A, and P of 0 is 5. So if we multiply both sides by 1 plus A, And also, let's divide by 5, because 5 goes into 35. We get 1 plus a equals 7, so a is 6. Perfect. Now we know what our a is, so we, don't, we know this piece. We don't need to worry about it anymore. So now we're going to use p of 16 equals 6. So p of 16 is equal to our m, which is 35, over 1 plus a, which is 6, times e raised to the minus 16k. I'm just going to put my variable on the end. And I also know that p of 16 is 6. So, from this point, we're going to multiply both sides by 1 plus 6 times e to the minus 16k 1 plus 6 e to the minus 16k We'll distribute the 6 through. So we end up with 6 plus 36 e to the minus 16 k equals 35. All right. Now we subtract 6 from both sides. That gives us 36 e to the minus 16 k equals 29. Divide both sides by 36 e to the minus 16k equals 29 over 36. We'll take the natural log of both sides. That gives me minus 16k equals the natural log of 29 over 36, which when I divide it by negative 16, gives me my exact answer. k is this. But what is that? Well, we get out our calculator. And we do 29 divided by 36, take the natural log of that, and divide it by a negative 16. And that gives us approximately 0 0.1 0 0.0135, which is 1.35%. So it looks like the world is growing at about 1.35% with this logistic model.